What's up all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on Kevin Durant's series ending calf injury and how this affects both the Warriors and the Rockets going forward. I'm going to look at the short term, which are the remaining two games in this series, the mid term, which is the rest of the playoffs, and the long term into the off season. If you know me, I don't like to speculate about long term things, but I believe this situation calls for it. All right, let's start with the short term effect of this injury for both teams. For Golden State, they lose the playoffs top score, which means they lose 34.2 points per game. Durant's 21.6 field goal attempts per game will be distributed to the rest of the team. So that means more looks for Curry and Thompson in particular. As I tweeted out, after game five, I don't believe the sports media narrative that was bound to come up saying the Warriors showed why they are better without Durant because the numbers don't prove that. Golden State is plus 79 with Durant on the floor this postseason compared to minus 14 without him. I also don't believe that because if you simply watch the game and the presence that Durant demands on both sides of the floor, if you know winning basketball, you'll clearly be able to tell that KD contributes to that. Can the Warriors win a game without Durant? That's the question. In game five, they won a quarter without him, but a game will be tough. They have two chances, and I believe they can get it done because they still have their core from the 73 and 9 team, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Andre. If Steph and Clay can consistently hit their jumpers and possibly even catch fire as they are prone to do, the Warriors can win this series. Durant's absence could have flipped a switch in them to finally take over. Now, when looking at the Rockets, the circumstances could not be better. No one wants injury, but they're definitely not hating Durant being out. This is, in essence, the reciprocal of last year's unfortunate Chris Paul hamstring injury for Houston in Game 5 of the conference finals. I constantly hear from Rockets fans that if CP3 didn't get injured, the Rockets would have went to the finals last year, and they very well could be right. Well, now's your chance, Houston. You have no more excuses. James Harden cannot disappear in the fourth quarter like he did in game five, scoring just five points on three shots in the final frame, and Chris Paul must be more aggressive as well. The Rockets need to put together a defensive scheme to pressure Curry and Thompson all night in game six and seven, tire them out if they want to win this series. To the midterm now, we're looking at the rest of the playoffs. As discussed on inside the NBA following game five, the Warriors may be able to win a game, but not the finals without Durant. I agree. Could the Warriors make the finals without Durant? I'm not even sure about that. From Houston's perspective, should they win the next two games in advance to the conference finals? They will be a favorite to make the NBA finals, and we'll see what happens from there. And finally, the long-term effect of this injury. When the season started, I thought the main scenario in which Durant would re-sign with the Warriors is if they won the championship again. Of course, this was before any of us saw this coming, especially if the Warriors drop this series to the Rockets. I think Durant won't want to leave in free agency. I mean, let's think about it. Really, who wants to leave their team after experiencing a freak injury that endangered their team's chances of winning? For Houston, if they lose this series to the shorthanded Warriors, is it time for a change? I honestly can't answer that right now, but I think some pieces would be moved around. Certain specialty players could be replaced for others that better fit their analytics-based offense. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Was this the last time we'll see Kevin Durant in a Warriors uniform? Personally, I hope not. Please know, but you let me know what you think. Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.